Who cried the most on the set of the Big Bang Theory finale? Hint, it wasn't Kaylee. What personal tragedy made Jim Parsons quit the show? And will we see a Penny and Leonard spinoff? All the details about the ending of your favorite show are here. Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state. The nearly 14 billion years ago expansion started quite. Beginning of the end. The cast spent 12 years on set and couldn't believe it when the show was nearing its end. The realization only dawned upon them during the final table read. Amy and Sheldon are there wearing their medallions. And as we slowly pull back, we hear... Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state. Reading the final scene together literally shattered all the actors. Right afterwards, all of them shared their emotional reactions. Kaylee Cuoco posted a whole series of photos on Instagram. In one of them, the actress was in tears, hugging the script. And in another one, she shared that the final episode's script had truly rendered her speechless. In her turn, Mayim Bialik made a more personal post, praising her co-star, Melissa Rauch. Both of them were newbies who joined the main cast in season three, so they share a lot of similar struggles on set. We have cried together and laughed together and raised kids on a set together. I couldn't have made it without her, with any semblance of sanity, Mayim wrote. Kunal Nayar was the next to reveal that he couldn't find words in any language that could describe how he felt about the show ending its run. And Kevin Sussman said how much he loved working with his co-stars. He said that Simon Helberg was one of the funniest people he's ever met and recalled how he loved seeing Melissa's smiling face every day on the set. So tears were definitely flowing freely at the final table read. But that was only the beginning of the end and certainly not the last emotional moment for the cast. I'm not crying, you're crying. The final episode was shot on the 30th of April, 2019, and it was an even more significant date for Kunal and Johnny because that's their birthday. The show's crew even brought cakes for them and for someone else. Since they knew that the next birthday was going to be Melissa's, but it was only in June, they made her a cake as well. Do we even need to say that the Bernadette actress was in tears from such a thoughtful gesture? But the cake wasn't the only thing the cast had to munch on. They also had custom-made drinks named Bazinga and Soft Kitty, as well as lab beakers filled with M&Ms. And did you know that the finale was filmed twice? The crew did the first version without the live audience and the second one with them. That was probably because they knew I'd be crying the entire time, Kaylee explained. And yet, she wasn't the one who wept the most on set. The biggest crybaby was Johnny Galecki. When he and Kaylee were doing one of their last scenes together, he had to stop at one point because he was getting so emotional he couldn't even speak. And Galecki also lost it when the cast came out to the audience for the last time. He shared long hugs with each of his colleagues. When talking about the show's ending, he said, It will never be fully eclipsed. We will always be associated with one another. It's such an incredibly unique experience that only seven of us can really understand having. Jim, in his turn, shared that the experience on set was life-changing for him. You may be part of something else that is as life-altering as this, but that's a high bar to hurdle, the actor added. And Kaylee Cuoco admitted that she owes her whole career to the show. No matter what I do after this, this is what made us who we are, the actress confessed. But the show stars weren't the only ones who got emotional during the finale. The show co-creator Chuck Lorre struggled to hold back tears as he took the slate in his hands to mark the start of one of the last scenes. And the director, Mark Sandrowski, wept when the entire cast stood up and clapped for him after the shooting was over. Seeing how emotional everyone was when they realized that it would be the last time they ever worked together, we can't help but question, why did it end anyway? The news about wrapping up The Big Bang Theory after its 12th season came as a shock not only for the fans, but for the cast and crew as well. Did you know that CBS planned to make at least one or two more seasons of the series? And they even wanted to keep going for longer if it was still popular. And for good reason. The 11th season became the most watched program on network TV with over 18.6 million viewers. But all these plans were shattered when Jim Parsons said that he wanted to quit the series. It turns out that he was ready to move on from playing Sheldon. It feels like we've really gotten to <laughs> chew all the meat off this bone, as it were. And there was another, very personal and tragic reason behind his decision. After they filmed the 11th season, Jim was in emotional turmoil. He had a summer break from the show that actually wasn't a break for him. 
The actor kept on working on other projects, such as the boys in the band and a few commercials. But there was also something else going on. I was exhausted and I was really upset about it. More than anything, one of our dogs was getting really at the end of his life around then. One day, Jim and his husband Todd had a walk around the park with their aging dog named Otis. Stressed out from working so hard and seeing his beloved pet in such a weak condition, Jim started crying. This dog's gonna die while I'm off working and I feel so bad. Jim and Todd made the difficult decision to put Otis to sleep at their home. For them, it was like the end of an era because they'd adopted the dog right at the very beginning of their relationship. And since Jim had to go back to work, he barely had time to grieve. A few days later, another incident happened. Parsons slipped on stage during his Broadway show and broke his foot. After that, the actor was forced to take a short break to heal. And it had an unexpected consequence, because for the first time in years, Jim managed to slow down. It suddenly dawned upon Parsons that he was approaching the age that his father died. He wasn't afraid of passing away at the same age, but it made Jim think more about how he wanted to live his life. The actor realized that if he knew he only had a few years left, he'd want to do everything differently. I think there's other things I need to try and do. And I don't even sure. know what they are, but I can tell that I need to I need to try. Jim finally realized that he didn't want to spend every waking hour at work. Still, being on the Big Bang Theory, doing Broadway shows, commercials, and movies, Parsons had to make a choice and let something go. I didn't know that I was searching for but between the dog and the foot and just, I was like, okay, let's, let's, let's take charge here. Eventually, the actor decided that it was time to quit playing Sheldon. And the cast and crew realized that there could be no Big Bang Theory without Dr. Cooper in it. But is it possible to keep telling the other characters' stories? The new magic word, spin-off. For sure. Most fans dream of seeing Leonard and Penny overcoming their parenting struggles, or Raj finally finding his significant other. And Kaylee even once shared that she'd be glad to take part in a spin-off, but on one condition. If Chuck came and said, let's do it, I'd say yes. I don't like to say no to Chuck, so if he wanted it, I'm in. Even though it sounds promising, it's unclear if Lori would want to do anything like that. Besides, some of the Big Bang Theory stars aren't sure that it would be a good idea. Johnny, for example, thinks that it would be weird because it's utterly impossible to choose someone to make a spin-off about. These characters are so part of each other's lives. Even a spin-off with two, you'd be like, what happened to the other five? Did they all die in the elevator? What's more, all of the stars have already moved on with their careers. Many of them even realized that ending the show was a blessing in disguise. Kaylee, for example, said that if she kept playing Penny, she wouldn't have gotten a role in The Flight Attendant. This popular series is now on its second season, and Kaylee even got a Golden Globe nomination for her role. Wrapping up the series was quite useful for everyone else, too. Although the whole cast loved starring in the top-rated show, it stopped them from doing anything else. And now, they're all open for new projects and completely different roles. So, it looks like Jim's decision to quit, however unexpected it was, became the best case scenario for everyone. If you want to know what the Big Bang Theory actors are doing now and what new projects of theirs are a must-see, watch our video about them. And thanks for staying awesome.